Rocket Rolls coming at you um, with the next edition of our Beginner Bike Series um, for our Beginner Bike Book Club. Um, our next book is a little bit of a shift of gears. <laughs> Get it? Shift gears. But um, basically, um, the title of the book is The Essential Guide to Motorcycle Maintenance tips and techniques to keep your motorcycle in top condition and um, you guys have known if you saw my toolkit video for example but that for me riding is a lot more than just um, getting on the bike and twisting the throttle it's actually the maintenance of the bike and the mechanical work that goes into it it's part of the hobby for me you may not um, actually want to do that give you a good look doo, 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 doo. and we should have a link below um, where you can go to get this book um, the Kindle edition is about $15. I don't know what the paperback edition is. Let me see. I don't know. Roughly, I think you can get it for 20 some bucks on, on Amazon or something. And I think on the back it lists at $33, but I don't think you have to spend that much. I know I didn't. Um, so, um, but the big deal here is that, you know, motorcycle maintenance is a part of, you know, the experience. It's a part of the bike life. Whether it's just a matter of doing mods to your bike, trying to get some more performance out of it, um, throwing some farkles on there because you want some, you know, cool little gadgets like, you know, your um, Ram X bar or, you know, maybe it's a, a, a top case or some side bags or some additional lights or whatever, you know. This book can help you to do those types of things, but it can also help you to do some of the repair type stuff or just the maintenance stuff, the oil changes, the brake fluid um, changes, um, the checking the brakes, change, changing out the brake pads, um, valve checks. All those types of things are covered, you know, in here. Um, he does take the time in the, in the introductory part of the book to talk about some of the tools. Like I said, we've got a toolkit video here. He talks about uh, finding a place to work. You guys know I'm a shade tree mechanic myself. I don't have a garage to work from right now. We're going to work on that, though. And um, um, just the hand tools to go along with, with the motorcycle mechanics. A lot of what I showed you in that other video, I actually got it from this book. Um, not the only resource, but it was one of my primary resources for getting that information. Um, he talks a little about safety in terms of the mechanical work that you might be doing. And then he gets into engine design and basic theory of engines. Um, he talks about two strokes. He talks about four strokes. He talks about the bottom end. He talks about the top end. He talks about the valve. He talks about the cams. He talks about the engine layout. He will talk about the engine cooling and the lubrication, and which you know are some things that sometimes people know, sometimes they don't. He'll talk about oil changes. He'll talk about different types of oil. He'll talk about the, you know, the electrical system, whether it be the ignition with the battery, um, spark plugs. He, um, I want to say there might even be a wi wiring diagram or two in here. He definitely talks about the transmission, how clutches work, clutch plates, um, wet clutches, dry clutches, hydraulic clutches. Um, he will talk about the fuel system, um, carburetors, fuel injected. Um, systems, how to do uh, maintenance on the carburetors, how to do maintenance on the, on the FI systems, um, pet cocks, all that stuff is covered in here. He's going to talk about um, your rear drive, your drive shaft, it's covered. It's a, it's a, it's a complete, total um, coverage of your motorcycle. I'm scrolling and cheating as, as I'm talking to you. Um, Definitely good sections in there on the suspension, whether it be cartridge types, front suspension, rear suspension, conventional forks, setting your ride height, adjusting your rebound dampening. All that is in here. Minif minimizing stiction. Um, tons of information about wheels, about tires, about how to select wheels, how to read the measurements and the other coding that goes into the wheels. Um, how to change the tires, how to maintain the tires, how to, you know, apply maintenance to the bearings, which is another thing that a lot of people, you know, kind of begin to freak out about balancing tires. It's in here. It's, it, you know, it's a full coverage. I can't keep saying full coverage, but I am. He talks about drum brakes. He talks about disc brakes. Um, he talks about brake calipers. He talks about making braking brake improvements. Um, I've already mentioned that, you know, they talk about the charging system down to the batteries and the cells and, and you know, um, the basic wiring. Uh, 
cleaning, setting up, storage. A lot of times, a lot of people have a lot of questions about winter storage on bikes if you live in the, in the northern parts of the world. Um, and then there's some great troubleshooting sections in here. So he really will go in there and talk about how to identify problems with your bikes and you know the things to look out for, the things to listen for. Um, and you know from that standpoint just the troubleshooting alone get some you know cheat sheets in here on troubleshooting um and you know and to be honest there's probably not a damn thing in this book that you couldn't find online or that you couldn't find in some other book but the catch to this book is the packaging and it's the price that you get for the packaging i mean i'm not making a dime off of you buying this book now if you use the link down below Mrs. Rocket will pick up a couple of pennies off of your purchase. I don't know even know the rates because they're not my affiliate links. They're hers, to be honest. But, um, you know, she'll pick up a few bucks in there. Not even bucks. It's pennies. She'll pick up a few pennies if you buy this book. You need this book in your life. Now, let me tell you, I took a motorcycle mechanics class at the local community college, and hopefully I'll find a picture of the certificate, and I'll put that, like, right here. And, um... And when I took the class, there was a textbook that they um, prescribed to use for the class. And, the, you know, the textbook was $150. Y'all know how it is in school these days. They, they, you know, they got a captive audience. So it was a $150 textbook. I think I bought the textbook in addition back. So I got the textbook for like $80, $85. Well, around the same time, I purchased this book. And um, I don't remember. I spent like $25 on it to get this book. And as I was reading both of the books, I start because I read the other book. And when I get a textbook, I read the books cover to cover. That's just my thing. But um, I was reading a textbook. I was reading this book and I started realizing it's the same information. This book covers the information just as well as the textbook was covering it. But this book costs one fifth list price of the other book. And if you go and buy the Kindle version of this, it's one tenth of the price of the textbook. And the textbook isn't available in a, in a um, soft copy in an electronic version. So for one tenth of the price of the textbook that I used in my motorcycle mechanics class, you can actually go and purchase this book and read it on your Kindle or read it on your phone and get all the same information. And that's a bargain you can't beat. As soon as you do anything on your bike, um, any type of um, maintenance or um, work, you've probably saved the cost of the purchase of the book because I don't know, the, the, I'm not going to name them, but the folks up the street, um, the bike shop up the street charges $110 an hour in um, maintenance. One ten an hour. Um, that's before parts. Um, I know there's another one around that I think charges 100 and maybe I could find $90 an hour, but around here, you know. $110 an hour is very fair, and to me, I don't really think it's an unfair rate for doing the work. I just feel like um, I can do a lot of this work myself, and this book definitely gives me everything that I need to know in order to do the work myself. And so for that reason, Motorcycle Maintenance, The Essential Guide to Motorcycle Maintenance by Mark Zimmerman. I think I might have called him a different first name a couple of times, but Mark Zimmerman is definitely, you know, a must-have book. And so... Um, I'm going to encourage you all to um, go ahead and get this book. I'm going to encourage you to put it on your bookshelf. Um, even those of you that are motorcycle mechanics, it's probably something that you wouldn't mind having around. And it's definitely something you wouldn't mind um, recommending to some friends when they come asking questions. It is written in a generic way to be applicable to any um, motorcycle brand. So it's not specific to one brand. Whereas if you buy your... Um, you know, your Haynes manual, which I'm going to talk about in another. You buy a Haynes manual, it's going to be specific to a particular bike. Motorcycle maintenance, on the other hand, is not. It is generic and it can be applied to any motorcycle. So, you know, with that, um, I'm going to say Rocket Rolls Over and Out. Um, that is the top five books. You know, we do have some bonus books that we had in that first video. So we are going to cover those bonus books in detail. But these were the top five books. This is the fifth of the five. I want to thank you for taking this journey with me as we began to talk about this. This particular book series is really one of the main reasons I started this YouTube channel. This was something that I really wanted to do. And I wanted to do it because I know when I started writing, I was having trouble finding the right books. The bookstore doesn't necessarily have them. There aren't a lot of YouTube videos out there that are on the reading material that exists for writing. And so this was a big deal to me and I'm really glad to have reached this point with you guys. And I'm glad you're taking this journey with me. It's not over. 
we got plenty more books to go to we aren't even have you know not even close we'll never be done but um we're definitely going to hit those two bonus books and then i got some other books that i want to dive into that i'm really excited about covering so definitely stay tuned um click the like button if you liked it click the subscribe button whether you liked it or not i don't really do that little bell thing that's kind of drives me crazy sometimes but you know if you're into it click the little bell um comment down below if you don't mind i really do appreciate the feedback and we're going to do better about um actually engaging with you guys i'm trying to get as much editing and, and pushing as much material out this summer while we got nicholas on summer break but um definitely as the next few months go by we're going to spend a lot more time engaging on the channel in the comments section and just talking to like-minded people so um with that rocket rolls over and out